It is men's propensity to compete with other men for access to women that cause the world around you to exist. Nuclear fusion, the transistor, satellites, all of it. The, the infrastructure, the highway system, every single bit of it came from men competing with other men for women. How much does their age play a factor in their dating life? Is it a big deal? I have not had a problem. <laughs> no? <laughs> How old are you? I'm doing pretty well for myself. Huh? How old are you? I'm 35. 35. Mm. Okay. And you have noticed any difference? No. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. You, uh, all right. That's, that's pretty interesting. Uh, Alexis? Uh, I would say I, I definitely get hit up by a lot of more mm. younger guys now. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Definitely. But I, maybe it's because of the roles I've played and they've seen that. But, uh, yeah. What, what, is your, what, is, what is your perfect kind of guy now, Alexis? What is your perfect kind of guy now? Uh, perfect kind of guy. I, well, I would say actually take the guy out and just say person. Um, definitely have to have a sense of humor. Uh, has to come up, you know, bring as much to the table that I already bring. Okay. Um, and that is very rare. Mm. And yeah, I, I can that, see that. That actually makes it harder for me to date than anything mm. else because... Right. Immediately, I'm yeah. just, it's, its it, you know, if you're not going to come to me with as much as I can bring, then I just really don't need you sitting at my table at all. Yeah. And I include that with my friends, uh, business people, everything. Yeah. Um, one like one that. of the things that's happened is on many college campuses, about 60% of the uh, people there are women and of 68% of the graduates are women. So you're having women with college degrees who in some cases have high earning power. In some cases, they don't. They're going into places like education that you, you can get a, an advanced degree and not really make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But when they do that, then they're, they're, the men that they're choosing from, again, are trade workers who don't have degrees, who don't make as much money. And then, like you said, you almost can price yourself out of the market because mm -hmm. you own the guns and the coffee beans. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> you have, and you have the, the podcast. <laughs> and everywhere you go, everyone wants your autograph and you're famous and like, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot more difficult, I think, for a lot of... A lot of guys, a lot of guys cannot, um, uh, really just don't measure up to the, to take on that toll. Yes. Okay. Got it. How about you? Katie? What was the question again? Sorry. Uh, do, have you, has your age, <laughs> like say from when oh, you're 20, so like your, now, has it impacted your dating strategy? And how old are you, the Katie Moore? I'm 25 right okay. now. My strategy, no, <laughs> but, uh, I, it is something I am concerned about, like yeah. getting older and, uh. It, it, I don't know. It's it's concerning. Like, what if I'm still single and I'm a little older and I... Are you single now, Katie? Yes. You are? Okay, yes. so let's... If you guys want to pull Katie up off the streets, go ahead and send her a message. <laughs> the Katie Moore. The Katie Moore. The Katie Moore. The Katie Moore, Katie Moore. The Katie Moore on, on Instagram. Let's get Katie married. That's how I remember your name. Let's get, Kat, hey, let's, get, <laughs> let's, let's, get, let's get Katie a blue passport. Can we do that also? Yeah. No, do that? don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> let's get her over here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Sabrina. Um, has age impacted the way I date? I yeah. don't think so. Not at mm -hmm. this point. No. And how old are you? I'm 27. 27. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Allie? Um, I don't know that it's really changed. I mean, I'm as I get older, I feel like I'm getting wiser and I'm not dating the same kind of guys that I was dating when I was younger. Yeah. Um, you think that's because you're wiser, or you can't date the same guys? Because like I'm the wiser. same guys aren't as attracted to you. I'm not as attracted to them. Okay. Yeah, and then I kind of cooled down on drinking too. So like, that will impact. That, that would, yeah. that because that affects your. Yo, uh, right. There, there's studies that show the <laughs> correlation gonna... between like drinking and like the number of sexual partners, and it is outrageous. Like oh, yeah, it is crazy. I talk to girls yeah. who go to AA, and they're like, "Yeah, I haven't fucked in like four years yeah, I since I stopped goals, drinking." Right? Mm -hmm. Like the amount. What was it? Oh, well, who's that? Who's that? Because you make better decisions. Yeah. Who's the sober? Yeah. Yeah. Who's the oh fucking? God, I don't know. Who's the? Who knew? Who's the Asian <laughs> female comedian who talked about when I stopped drinking, all the unnecessary blowjobs she stopped giving? Nobody clip this. <laughs> don't clip this. Don't clip me saying that. <laughs> but it was just re it's really funny. There you go, Destiny. Take I think that I've one. had more sex sober than I've ever had it drunk. That's yeah. for sure. Well, a lot of people and I, I, I like it more sober, yeah. too. Hey, let me ask you something. And not just because yeah. it's my job. That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me ask you something. Ladies, the really first good. time you have sex with a guy, the first time, the likelihood of you being t like either it, it, marijuana, cocaine, alcohol counts you guys being at least a little bit inebriated the first time you heroin crank you know Jesse, uh, anybody else? Yeah. 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 what do you katie yeah you need stoned. like a little like like you need to loosen uh, up Ali, no sarah yes i'm always stoned 
You're always stoned? Uh, yeah. Ali, right yes? Now. I'm probably <laughs> permanently stoned, but I don't need anything Yeah, you don't need anything? <laughs> Tiffany, <laughs> Tiffany Fox is going to come in here and raise her hand oh, for just being stoned. <laughs> yeah, from my, from, my, from my experience, that is one thing that's kind of crazy because, like, if you're a dude and, and you're sober, you're just, like, far less likely to end up sleeping with women because oh, wow. in, ge in general because, like, when I talk to my, my female friends and I'm like, like, how many of the last five guys you slept with, how many of them were you drunk or high or whatever the first time you had sex with them? And it's, like, 100% of the time. I'm like, <laughs> That's crazy. But sober sex is better. Oh, no, agreed. But oh, like, yeah. agreed. But but, but the you. First but time that you're that's with not someone, the question. Like, your inhibitions need to yeah. be. Yes. Yeah. So those inhibitions yeah. come from evolution, and those inhibitions have to be overcome. But because you know intuitively, you can wear you know you can wear a condom, or you could be you know fixed. You could have a hysterectomy. You could have fixed. you know anything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I rescue animals. I'm going to say fixed. I, I love it. I do not put humans above animals. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm the best ectomologist. Yes. This guy just used fix. Okay. For, yeah. for sure. I'm the asshole. Um, but, <laughs> anyway, so. So, but going, but going back to that, like you know, if your genes understood what condoms were, they they would you would look at condoms like acid, like you would run away from them. Your genes want to spread, but your gene, your con, your conscious, your uh, genes have no comprehension of contraceptives. And so, when you you guys have sex, realistically, you know you're not gonna have a baby every time you have sex, but your genes don't know that, and that's the reason why you ha still have this inhibition every time you have sex with a guy, because because your ancestors, if they had sex with the wrong person, they would be ostracized from whatever tribe they lived in 50,000 years ago, and there was a 100% correlation between ostracization and death. You were going to die, and your child was going to die, well, you, because you, you fucked the wrong guy. Just imagine, <laughs> Nina, just, just, just imagine, <laughs> Nina Agdal is getting she skewered on- a lot of wrong guys. Yes. <laughs> Nina, Nina Agdal, Nina Agdal, <laughs> yeah, Nina Agdal is getting yeah. skewered on Twitter right now because of you know her being with a couple of dudes. But like that's not, she's still going to be famous even if Logan Paul leaves her. There's still going to be a line forming to the left of dudes who want to get with her. That will never end for her. Does that make sense? Her ancestor, if she did something similar, she dies. She just fucking dies. Like that's how crazy. So you, when you understand, most women, especially when they're younger, have a little bit of prepare, like a little bit of apprehension the first time they have sex with a guy. It's because of evolution. And again, if men were not trying to compete with other men for picky women, we would live in <laughs> caves. We'd all have AIDS. We'd all just be fucking. If women weren't stand, didn't have standards, we'd live in cardboard boxes. We'd live in it's fucking true. caves. That's what would happen. It is men's propensity to compete with other men for access to women that cause the world around you to exist. Nuclear fusion the transistor, satellites, all of it. The, the infrastructure, the highway system, every single bit of it came from men competing with other men for women. Um, going back to, uh, hold on, did, you, did the age question, uh, does age have any impact on your dating? Oh, okay. Well, um, I definitely make better choices yeah. being older. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what were some of the bad choices you made previously? Oh, God, the worst. Just the whole list of them. <laughs> Did you ever have a situation where you were dating someone in the industry and you were jealous of what they were doing or they were jealous of something you were doing? Uh, no, I've... Mm, I tried to date like a few directors and like uh, it, I tried, but it, it just never worked out. I never dated seriously yeah. in the industry. Yeah. I just felt like... A lot of them were like um, uh, the way they viewed women. Just yeah. I didn't like oh. it. Mm. I don't know. Do you feel like that sometimes? I don't. I don't date or, in the industry because yeah. I don't like to shit and eat at the same place. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? That, I, I don't want any too. problems. That's I don't want you. any problems. It's a good rule of thumb, but yeah. And, and there is because some people. Oh, I don't like that guy. Please don't shoot with him. Well, fuck that. You're, that's my money that you're talking about. Yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. I shoot with who I want to shoot with, mm -hmm. and people are on my no list because I put them there because yeah. of the reasons I want to put them there. This applies to other so I actually like normal people doing different things because it also creates conversation and it gives me something. I don't want to talk about shots all day with you. 